Welcome to my YouTube channel and it's December the 1st, 2022 and you know what that means us widows are in for a rough ride it's the month of December where everybody's getting together everybody's happy and and uh, there's a lot a lot of social get-togethers and traditions that may or may not go along with our life as a widow so for today I want to do just a little bit of help for how you can tame this holiday stress you're going to get in into. If you're a brand new widow and you only had a Christmas or two or maybe no Christmases underneath your belt, if you don't want to socialize, if you're not up to it, then I totally understand. Uh, but if you are ready to just get out there and, and try and do a little bit of socializing and want to try and tame this stress that you're under a little bit, I'm going to give you a few little tips to help you to get through this holiday season and with the least amount of stress as possible. One thing I always like is if I'm going to do any social get-togethers and be around people, I prefer to do it as a potluck and that way everybody contributes and it's not all on me to do all of the cooking and all of the decorations that it's a combination of people contributing to it that really helps take some stress off if you're going to travel and you're fortunate enough to be retired try and travel a few days before the rush and a few days after so you're not caught Wait in the total rush time. Don't try and get there just, you know, the day before. Maybe try and get there two days before so that you can avoid Christmas Eve uh, rush hour traffic. Now, you might get quite a few invitations and, you, and you're just not up to that much socialization. So really take a look at what you've got offered to you and decide what you want to do. And for those that you don't want to do, let them know why. Don't just say no and then they hear that you've gone somewhere else and their feelings are hurt or they don't understand. Explain to them that you just can only handle so much socialization wait at this time and that you thank them for the offer but you're going to just keep a, a low profile and that you know hopefully they'll invite you again and, and you'll be thankful to come at another time just keep an open communication so they can understand that it's not personal if you're not going to see them this Christmas try and keep a little bit of of uh perception about holiday seasons. It's mostly in the marketing of TV and the whole, you know, social shopping. It's big time marketing. Hallmark is really not real life and things do go wrong and you're probably tired and stressed out and not quite up to things that aren't, you know, going the way they should be. So, Please keep an open mind to the fact that people may say some pretty stupid things and maybe they mean well and they're just and they're just thoughtless comments. But during the holiday season, they can be painful. But if you overreact by taking it in and holding on to that pain, it's just not going to serve you and it's only going to make your holidays twice as hard. So if people are kind of thoughtless and they, and they say some things that they really are just stupid, <laughs> then just let it go. That, that's on them, not on you. Don't carry it around with you. It's just too hard of a burden to carry when you're trying to keep your stress level down. And this was really the last piece of little tip that I have, and that is to try and keep your sense of humor. Try and honor the memory of, of your loved one and keep a little bit of sense of humor so that it doesn't totally go off track. Please remember this holiday season is not going to be the same, but it doesn't mean 
that it has to all be bad. Try and get what you can out of the joy of the ones that you do have in your loved ones. I hope this has helped you. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.